In today's video, we're going to be going over the Eonon in-dash factory replacement Android radio, and we're going to be hands-on putting it in my Yukon in this video. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you heard from that intro, we're going to be doing a hands-on installation of this Eonon, I hope I'm saying that right, in-dash uh, factory size replacement radio in my Yukon. We are gonna be putting it in in this video. If you wanna see more about what the radio can do, I will be doing a separate video a little bit later on all the functions of this radio. But it's basically like putting an Android tablet permanently in your dash with a few little extra features, FM radio, Android CarPlay, all the bells and whistles. Now what I did want to do was just kind of do an out of the box quick overview and first impressions before moving to my vehicle to install it. If you don't want to see what it comes with or really learn anything else about it and you're just interested in how it goes into the vehicle, I will have timestamps in the video so you can go ahead and skip to that. Also, if you want this exact radio, this will fit in a few different range GM and Chevy vehicles. It will also fit in a few Cadillacs, I believe, and the model year it will fit in is 2007 to 2013. I will have a link for this exact radio in the description section below if you're wanting this exact one. And if you follow that link, it'll give you a very good list of all the vehicles it fits in. And it even shows you the connectors. If your vehicle has this connector, it won't work. If it has this connector, it will work. Okay, enough about that. Let's actually talk about the unit. Right out of the box, I was really impressed. This thing currently costs just under $200. And that's with free shipping through Amazon. You can also find it on eBay if you prefer to shop there. But right out of the box, this thing is way better quality than I was expecting. The whole back of it is aluminum and it's got kind of a heat sink on the back with a nice vent. There's no fan in here, but it is vented. So I'm assuming it should dissipate heat very nicely. Also, Look how thin that is. The factory radio, as you will see later in this video, is way, way deeper. This takes up way less room in your dash. That is gonna be a good thing though, because as you can see right here, there are a lot of adapters that you need to make this radio work. Which leads me to my next point about this radio. Most aftermarket radios, if you want to retain your steering wheel controls for volume up, volume down, skip, answer calls, stuff like that, you usually have to buy an aftermarket adapter for that. This radio, and we will test it, claims that it's all built in. And I do believe them because this big intimidating chunk of wires right here actually has a CAN bus communication built right into it. And all these wires are different adapters. This right here is actually the door chime, which a lot of those aftermarket harnesses that you have to buy for like Sony radios, etc. You always have to buy that aftermarket wiring, which has a door chime to retain your door alarms, headlight on alarms, stuff like that. It plugs into your factory harnesses, so there's no cutting, splicing, having to figure out what wire does what on the vehicle side. So all you have to do is plug it in to all the available plugins that you have. Then these adapters plug in to these adapters here. You're just completing a loop. And the reason there's so many here is because each vehicle application, even though it's for GM, Chevy, stuff like that, they're all gonna have different options. Now I did say that this is specific for certain makes and models of GM and Chevy. And as you can see, it even has the bezel for where the, the panel clicks in and the screw holes. It is a direct fit. It's going to look as close to factory as possible. This, this looks daunting, don't let it scare you. I will also add that the instructions that it came with are actually really good. And this is your GPS antenna. Now, this has a lot of good length. They recommend you mount this on the outside of the vehicle. 
but I have a better solution with an adapter that isn't included, and it was only an extra $10. This works fine. If you don't have GPS on your current vehicle, you're gonna need this regardless, and this next option won't work. But if you do have currently GPS, then I highly recommend buying this adapter. It adapts it from the aftermarket screw-on style, like that one has, to the GM, what plugs into your factory radio, it adapts to that so that you can use your already existing vehicle's GPS antenna, which is going to be superior to any aftermarket antenna more than likely. And it's already mounted on the outside of the vehicle using factory wiring. And I will have links to all of those items if that's something you're interested in, especially if you're putting it in the same style vehicle. I'm gonna give you one more up close shot of the front of this radio without any power to it, and another nice up close shot of the back. There's really not a whole lot to look at right now. I think that covers all my starting points. Really out of the box without actually seeing it in action, I'm really blown away with the quality of this. So we're gonna go over to my dad's garage that is heated. It is February, so it's kinda cold here. So let's head over there and get this radio installed. All right, everybody, just like that, we are at my dad's garage, nice and heated in here, and it's a great spot to get this radio put in. The first step is getting the bezel off and the old radio out. So let's get that done now. So all these bolt heads here are a seven millimeter and I just put a socket on a driver. You can do it by hand or with a little power tool if you want to. Unfortunately, the way they have it in here, you do have to take out the HVAC control module, but that is only two screws and that's because they stack it on top of the radio. And you also have to remove these controls and your auxiliary power control. And one more thing before you rip everything out, make sure any DVDs that you have or CDs in the radio are removed. So just move these two things out of the way for now. And then it'll come a little bit hard, but not too bad. You just pull straight out. There should be plenty of room for your wires to get unplugged. Go ahead and just unplug everything. And just like that, your radio is removed. Put it in a safe space, storage wise, away from magnets, metal shavings, all that kind of stuff in case you ever wanna reinstall it. And you should have wires like this. Now, one thing that this radio does say is if you have the style with one big plug, this radio will not work, but any of the other versions, this radio will work with. Okay, I just got everything plugged into the back of the radio. I uh, figured out what everything I need. So I should be able to just hang it here temporarily to make sure everything is working as it should. Okay. Set this down real carefully, like. <clears throat> and there it is, powering on. Turn off my heat controls here, and there we go. Now I'm just gonna temporarily hang it. There we go, temporarily installed. And I'm gonna test some things, make sure it works. I just off camera did a lot of troubleshooting with this thing because I did have a couple issues right out of the gate. One was that the reverse camera was all black and white and like glitchy. There's a setting in here. If you wanna see that setting, I'll go through it in the additional video later that I told you about where I'll show some of the features that this has and all that it can do because I personally am going to need some time to get used to this radio before I share all that with you. Now when you know everything's working good, the biggest thing is you're going to want to put 
your door chime and blinker somewhere out of the way where you're gonna be able to hear it really good. And I'm gonna have a lot of room here because the radio depth is a lot different. So I'm gonna actually just stick it down in here with the double-sided tape against where the radio used to slide in. Make sure the radio is directed the proper way and go ahead and slide it in real slow. Make sure you're not pinching any wires. Make sure all your wires are run the way you want them. Go ahead and push your factory wires kind of down in where they were when you pulled the old radio out and plop this in there. It should kind of sit just how it did from factory. So get your top two screws in this radio so that it can't fall out on you. Not tight though. You want to leave it a little loose so you can move the radio like that. And before you get too carried away making things permanent, make sure it still powers on just in case you bumped a wire and it is powering on. I would play audio, but YouTube and their copyright stuff, I don't want to deal with it. I did test the audio, it is working, and I will show the audio in my follow-up video about how this thing works and what it can do. What I found works best when putting these GM dashes back together is I start from the bottom, the one that stacks the furthest out and work my way up. And you'll kind of feel them pop into place. And that just kind of guides everything back together really nice. Now you can work your way up and tighten them down snug. Double check, make sure all of them are tight so you don't have any dash rattles. And you can grab your bezel. And you're done. It's 100% installed. Looks really nice and factory. So there you have it. That's what it looks like fully installed. I almost think it looks completely factory if you didn't know any better. And it gives a old girl like this a little bit of a refresh facelift, if you will, and brings it into the future a little bit. Quality wise, I think this thing's awesome. It feels good, it's very responsive. The little bit I've been playing around with it, there's really no lag. And I already set up wireless Android Auto, kinda accidentally I was following a little bit of the screen prompts and just all of a sudden it started working. So it's, it's really good, I'm happy. I'm really looking forward to playing around with this in the next couple weeks and revisiting showing what the radio can actually do again this was just intended to be an install video and kind of a general first impressions of the radio as always i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one Please subscribe to my daddy's channel.